Welcome back. So starting out the second half of the week, we have Jeff here installing the um, hardware for these um, hinge points there that are for uh, the bell cranks for the four plane. And he's just riveted on those floating nut plates and he's just checking to make sure the hardware is lining up nicely. And over here is uh, in the process of bonding in the um, mounting plate there for the bell crank for the aileron control. That's the one that where the main rod comes through from the cabin and then uh, the other rod actually actuates the, uh, the aileron. And here on the left side of the aircraft in the baggage compartment you can see that Dan has installed the Arduino there and also to the left of that the little power supply that's the one in the black box and uh, that's hooked up to the relays that you see on the upper right there and they control all the solenoids. And here you can see Devin and Jeff have started the process of bonding the uh, spar into the four plane skins or at least bonding all the parts of the four plane uh, together so they've got the spar in um, presently. And just a quick door update this time, I've got the uh, brackets back from powder coat there, you can see in black, and this time I've got the uh, 225 pound gas strut on here um, that also came in, and uh, it's holding the door up nicely and it actually pulls it over centre there when you get it just before closed. Um, so everything's working out well with that, so finally the gas struts are sorted. And on Friday morning I was off to Brits to pick up some things and do a bit of work on the lathe. And my task here was to create a bunch of uh, inserts for these rod ends for the aileron uh, push rods, the ones in the wings and also the ones in the cabin. So we could uh, screw some rod ends into those and they can connect to the bell cranks. So here I'm on the lathe taking a bit of aluminum rod and just taking 10 thou off so it will fit into the ends of the uh, 4130 um, rods that we have because uh, it was a little bit oversized to start with and you can't always buy uh, the rods in exactly the diameter that you need so that's what I'm doing here just slowly taking off uh, 10 thou And after thinning out the rod on the lathe for at least uh, sort of an inch and a half of length, the next thing to do is take it over to the bandsaw and cut off the next piece. So um, just cutting off about an inch and a half as I'm making you know, these inserts. I ended up making uh, 15 all together. We only needed eight for now, but there's, I know there's more coming um, that we're gonna be using on the elevator control. So I figured I just made it, may as well make them all at this time. And then I spent about the next hour and a half finishing those off, including uh, drilling them out, uh, ready to be tapped. And while I was up at Brits, I also picked up these brackets that he'd finished. So these are the ones that are the bell cranks for the four plane. So there's eight of those, and there's also two smaller ones there. These are the ones there uh, for the rudder, um, the rudder controls there that live out in the winglets. And here Devin and Jeff are continuing with uh, bonding things together for the four plane. So Devin's just getting things sorted out so they can bond in uh, each of the ribs there.
And Devin and Jeff got these bell cranks for the elevator controls and also the rudders dipped in alodyne to protect them because they're aluminum and they also uh, press the bushings into place. And here you can see one of these uh, aileron push rods. So those came back from powder coat and on either end I've gone and put in one of those little bushings that I uh, made on the lathe up at, at uh, Brit's place along with a rod end in there for uh, connecting it at either end. And that's uh, actually just running through the hole there where the conduit's going to be. Jeff hasn't actually drilled the hole for the, uh, the push rod just yet. And then over here on the foreplane uh, there's some of those uh, bell cranks there for the elevator control as you can see in with the hardware and they're actuating nicely and they'll have rods uh, hooked to them as well. And by the end of the day on Friday all the ribs um, that are in between the two spars there were bonded in place still got the aft ribs to go and there and a few other little things to happen and uh, let me just give you a bit of an update on other things so those panels there for the dash have gone back to the upholsterer you're going to actually get them covered in a nice black vinyl and just wasn't happy with how it was going to work it with that uh, light colored ultra suede and we're still waiting on the parts from the cnc shop um, for our redrive and lastly i hope you like the upgrade here switched up to adobe premiere pro for doing video editing so hopefully um, things actually get better with the quality of the videos now i've got still a lot to learn uh, with how to use this uh, anyway that's our update for this week and thanks again for watching and tune in again next week and see what we get up to